I didn't say fuck you, you can't use it, uh, this as an outlet. Um, all right, let's see what else we got to get into today. Uh, well, we d- I definitely want to make sure I want to respect Diddy. the title. We got to get into Diddy. Diddy. Uh, Diddy, yeah. So he got his his home was raided today. His uh, private airplane was grounded. Uh, I read, although I did read something where people are like, "Hey, is he trying to dip?" Is, uh, yeah, I, I, I yeah. saw something where he was going to uh, just in case there's anything that happened. Cape Vert- Verde. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, th- I think I saw that. And uh, people were like, they didn't know if he was on the plane at that time. This was earlier in the day. So um, I did see some wild videos too. I don't know. Have you seen the videos of him? Like, he's like at public gatherings and he looks so paranoid. I, no, I don't want to say God, but. Not. But, yeah, but so, like, so, so, so this is drugs and people? Or just people? Oh, yeah. So, well, people. Because, yeah, cause, cause, was, cause a drug mule got caught too, right? Supposedly hit. I think that might have been like, yeah. I don't. 21 year old. Yeah, it might have been, though, I don't know if, I'm sure they'll attach trafficking to it as far as, like, drug trafficking, but, like, some of what I was reading, it seemed like it was more of, like, a personal drug mule. Like, he was bringing just, like, Uh any drugs for probably parties and shit like that. So, I guess it's still, like I said, I'm sure they're going to be able to attach that to him as trafficking, but I don't know if that was him bringing in drugs and then being, like, a distributor to, like, streets and shit like that. Bro, bro, Um, listen, all I got to say is whatever, I've been, I've, I've listened to one person. For years and i'm telling everyone to do it when 50 cent says something about somebody shit's fucking true my bad okay just listen to whatever 50's telling you yeah he's ahead of the curve yeah he has called this one again man all of us knew that he was well, just because he sees these na- he sees these nasty motherfuckers for real and he, he sees them yeah and uh yeah so i mean it's not it, it's not a secret as to what these guys like so I'm, that's why i look at get him to the greek with a little bit of a side eye because i'm like a lot of times you find out afterwards like with uh uh Weinstein from fucking Hollywood uh, with the Quentin yeah. Tarantino movies, yep. like that ends up being something that people are like, "Oh yeah, it was. It was kind of known." It's like, what the fuck do you mean it was known? None of you guys want to say shit, like at all, bro. What's his face? Uh, Brian Singer. I don't know if you know who that is. You yeah. know who that is? Yeah, X Men. Bro, he's yep. having like little kid parties. Dude, had like little fuck. kids all up in the pool, little boys and shit. Dude, uh, what's like, his name from uh, Horrible Bosses and shit? Kevin Spacey. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. He, I think he. I think he beat those charges technically. Oh, sorry. But, allegedly, well, but, alleged. But I mean, he, it fucking psycho. I don't. It, it, Bro, did wow. you see the video he released after the dude died? Yes. Oh, it's so psychotic. It was, it was chilling. It was chilling. Bro, it was chilling. Bro, the the holy the, moly. But but you see, people are all why why they why they come after Diddy and not uh, what's his fucking name from Nickelodeon, Dan Schneider. Dan Schneider. And it's yeah. like, well, Dan Schneider was never caught doing anything. Yeah. Very creepy guy. Yeah. Like I don't know what he was doing in the editing room with all those clips that he was having. Like the kids do those weird sexual things. Yeah, very weird. Yeah, but what's being the but uh, what's being alleged on Diddy, Diddy is fucking is nuts. Yeah. So like, and when the agencies, which my guy, you know, I just got to give it up to the ATF. Like he said, caught the guy from uh, the airport <laughs> smuggling guns. FBI has been bringing down. This is another uh, sex trafficking thing yeah. that they brought down. These agencies that the the people say are crooked seem to really be doing their fucking job. Like I, I think that the Epstein wow. shit really opened up a door. Yeah. The Weinstein shit opened up a door. The Snyder shit kept the door open. And these investigations take years. They take time to build. You have to have enough proof to where you can spend taxpayers dollars on it to where it's you, you can definitely get these people. So they don't know that you're on their trail and you just missed your fucking shot. Yeah. So, okay. But, Okay, so I, f- I feel you on that. Um, but I, I wonder- feel like there's more dominoes that are going to fall. Well, and, the, and I, well, I mean, I, I guess I, I would, I hope not, because I hope there's not that much uh, 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 of this kind of shit being done. But I, you know, I think this is where this, this is kind of illuminating when you see how much of just the culture in general, right? Uh, this is in, in these indi- industries, which we've on- honestly always known these industries to be uh predatorial because from a contractual standpoint for example like this is uh a lot of the ways that we have been kind of harping on this the past 20 years or so but really over the past 15 10 years probably you're seeing more of a outcry based off of you know yeah these kind of things that are like up and running operations which is fucking wild like when we talk about the epstein shit that is crazy to think a motherfucker was flying people out to an island to do the wildest shit it's crazy to think that diddy somebody that we're seeing he's a fucking movie he's one one of the richest people in in hip-hop i know for sure he's yeah. a billionaire he's a billionaire he's a fucking um uh he's on 
TV shows. For the whatever, amount of TV shows he's whatever had. Whatever fucking uh, random ass um, uh, X Factor knockoff that yeah, he did. The, the four. So like, he was on the four. He yeah. had his making the band. Didn't they have like a show with his family? So he, the, the, he's not a like obscure figure in our in this industry or in or in american culture in general in general he's not like um i don't know it's not fucking k camp you feel me i don't know if you guys remember k camp he still drops some heaters or even chief keef let's i know everybody's gonna know chief keef in hip-hop so super influential still is around today diddy is out of this fucking atmosphere or he's, if you're, so it's like he's dre level yeah, yeah exactly that's, that's a great comparison so that's a phenomenal comparison been around so since like the late 80s 90s has which, which actually another thing i we should touch on uh, before we move from this topic uh sold the rest of his shares of the revolt, revolt. Yep. today so he literally had a fucking television uh, bro, and he, bro and that is like some of the most telling shit bro this motherfucker is guilty yeah how was bro, he so people tied defending in when when right oh, when i like, get it when but, over and over again the conversation is like you know especially for people who are black and stuff like that you look at it you're like we can't break through to that level why the fuck is this the motherfucker the guy that's like broken through to the highest level is hanging out with billionaires because it's he possibly, played their game well by the way that's the sick part is that he this is part of the game, game bro diddy was fucking rumored to possibly be buying the fucking carolina panthers i don't know if you remember that yep. like you know what i mean so he's in these kind of rooms the fact that the representation and obviously you know you know that this isn't indicative of black people or black culture or anything but this is the kind of slime ball that you have that reaches that kind of level like just just kind of disturbing when you think about it that way bro very disturbing. um but all right so here i don't want to spend too much uh, time on that because i want to take in consideration uh paul's time here we do got some videos and stuff to watch and a few more topics um uh, but we will wait to see that i did see the pictures of his sons being put in hand yeah, i can't wait for more information um i saw i also saw that they got a lot of their belongings out of his house today um after that well here actually before we move on i should just um uh show you guys the rest of this article here oh this is actually kind of what i'm talking about no. oh god damn how okay. fast do you think he's gonna take uh, how fast do you, like do you think he's gonna try to get a deal i don't know man because he has here's the sons um but yeah i don't know it's tough because you know he has the means to actually fight this so it's like he isn't in a powerless position he has a shit ton of money Pro evidence. probably why he's selling his fucking i mean this is a fed case too so it's like that's like a 90 something conviction right <laughs> um yeah, that's what but i mean either way he's just in a position where i mean yeah if you want to say 90 something uh conviction rate but he's in like the 90 fucking probably eight percentile of or probably higher than that as far as like you know resources and just yeah, general yeah. wealth in america so um he does have the means to fight it i don't know i could imagine him fighting it to be honest i think uh, and also diddy's wild so um i can imagine him taking this um to trial and not flipping and it seems like he may be pretty high towards the top so it's like um yeah I, i'm sure and i'm sure anybody that would be higher than diddy in this kind of like scenario is probably extremely dangerous um go over there we have overwhelming newspaper for this claims are complete lies. Ooh. Said Combs attorney, uh, Sean Holly said in response. Here, let me read it just because you mentioned this. I want to make sure that people can hear it. Uh, this is from uh Peter Lee's attorney here. Uh, we have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies, said Combs attorney. Uh, Sean Holly said in response, we will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all uh, appropriate actions against them. Go up to the top of the suit. Yeah. Just yeah. read it. The suit filed in federal court in New York accused Combs of repeated instances of unsolicited groping and sexual touching. It also says the man had to work in a bathroom while Combs showered and walked around naked. So this um, must be somebody that was working for him. Yeah, lawyer for Combs called the events described in the lawsuit pure fiction. Um, he is kind of wide open for that. I mean, the problem is, though, that you're having people come raid your fucking house looking for guns and shit. Um, well, yeah, I mean. So, I mean, yeah, but he definitely was again, getting hit after he, the Cassidy lawsuit. He had Tupac lawsuit. shot in his studio, so I'm just saying. I mean, this guy's always been dirty. <laughs> well, I mean. Allegedly. And, and the other accused of uh, Biggie. Biggie's uh, murder as well. And so it was about Aaliyah. 